um, it's Tammy here. I am back with another kind of quick tutorial. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to make uh, take me, but um, I just wanted to come on and show you guys how I made these envelopes. Um, they have a clear acetate front, and I'll be putting some goodies in them for a swap. But um, I looked all over YouTube, and I couldn't really find anything on how to make anything, so I came up with my own. And it uses a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and that's it. Really easy, and some dies. And then um, I used an extra, which was from the window, which I'll show you. Um, and this paper is um, double-sided, so it has a different color. And um, I used that piece for this um, back flap to cover it. And then I used um, a die my flag die for this and then I just put some washi tape across the bottom so I'll probably end up putting some little bit of glue on the ends just to keep it secure but anyway I just wanted to show you really quick what I used and how to make these they're a lot of fun they're super simple um, it took me about an hour and a half once I got the hang of it to make four so not not too bad um, the paper the double side paper that I used for these is by DCWV um, and it's their cardstock flip it's called flip side so each paper has a different color on each side which I really really like and it has a linen finish so it's really nice but the only thing you have to be careful with is when you're folding these um, you don't just fold it over really quick because it will show the white part in between the two colors so um, you got to be really careful so I I like made one and then messed it up and threw that away and then made another one so anyway I'm going to show you how to do that and then the actual paper collection that I used um, is the same that I used for all of these little um, 3x3 three three note card, treat bag, and tag, and so it's the same paper line collection, which is the DCWV watercolor, okay? So anyway, real simple. First, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, this is a 12x12 12 12 sheet of paper, and I went ahead, I'm going to flip this over, maybe you can see the lines better that way. So anyway, I went ahead and scored it, um, and so you're just going to score it I mean it's 12 by 12 so pick a side and I scored it at three and a half and then eight here on this side okay and this is going to be the top piece so then I flipped it this way on the scoreboard let me get my scoreboard out so you're going to score it at three and a half and then eight and then you're just going to flip it and you're going to score it at two and I don't know if you can see that, um, eight and three quarters. So again, this side is two by eight and three quarters. This side is three and a half by eight. Okay, 12, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Pretty simple. Then what you do is um, you're going to miter, what's called a miter cut, is what I do is I cut from, here, let me show you here. So I cut from this is this piece is going to be folded over so I don't want this line here so you cut slightly to the left of that and then you're gonna just cut it at an angle down to the center here okay and you're gonna do that on the bottom as well so you're gonna have this angled cut and what that's gonna help is it's gonna um, help the envelope not be so bulky okay and then you're gonna do that on the other side so this is the two inch side you're gonna cut those off here and then on this side what I did was I went ahead and cut this piece on this side of the score line but this piece I don't want any of the score line but I want it to be straight so that um, it looks like this on the back okay I want it to be flush I don't want it to go like this because then this piece you have to cut it the same way and it's it's really hard to get that right so anyway and this will be fine because this is just the flap that's going to come over so um, let's see what I wanted to show you 
was I just take my little cutting board, my magnetic cutting board, and I just take my ruler, which is magnetic, so it sticks to the board, makes this really simple, and I just line it up on the outside of that score line, and then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, my craft knife, and I'm just going to cut it like that, okay? And then you don't need that piece. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. So just on this side of the score line. Because if I don't cut it like that, then it's going to make that flat bulky. I need to cut that off. So that's the little white pieces I was talking about that's in between the two layers of paper. All right. So that's that, and you don't need those, so you can throw those away. And then what we're going to do is I take my ruler, I take my Tim Holtz ruler, and this side is kind of beveled. Um, it's slanted, so it helps with doing this. And remember I told you, you don't want to just fold the paper over. So what I do is I put the ruler right on that score line, and I just go back and forth. And what we're doing is we're loosening the fibers in the paper, okay? That's all you want to do is loosen the fibers and you still might get some cracked paper, but um, anyway. And then I just push it over and then gently fold it. And this is what I'm talking about. I hate this. Um, and I don't, it doesn't matter how many times I do it this way, I still get a little bit of crackle on the edge, so oh well. All right, so then we're going to do this on this side. And I'm just going to gently do this. Again, break those fibers in the paper, hopefully, so they don't do that again. Probably helps if you don't have hot glue all over your fingers, too. All right, so that side is a little bit better. Probably didn't take my time on the other side. All right, so again, line it up, and the heat from your the from the friction between your paper and your finger is what kind of helps loosen up those fibers, so they don't break. So I'll just put that over, gently fold that, and then I'm going to do the bottom one. this yet because we've got some cutting to do. Alright, so you're going to take it and you're just going to fold it over like this because what we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece here, then we're going to cut the window out, then we're going to use this piece that's out, that comes out, to cut this piece, okay, with that same uh, border die. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. So a couple things here that I wanted to show you is, all right, when you cut this first one, what I do is I take this and I just, I'm just going to line it up, make sure it's centered, but I want to make sure that the distance between this curve and this curve are the same on each side or you'll get a lopsided. Um, you have a lopsided scallop on there. So anyway, so we're gonna cut that like this. And just go back. And then this is the tricky part, okay? So we're gonna take that off. And now we want to cut the window. And disclaimer, this is not perfect. Um I haven't found a way to do this to where it won't sort of indent 
on the other side, like you can see here, you can almost see just a faint little outline of the die, but um, I tried it two different ways, and the best way I found was take your top plate and put it on the bottom. And what you're going to do when you cut the window is you're going to cut it up so that the cut part of the die is on, next to the roller. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but you know what? I don't really care because it was the only way that I could um, get this to work without really damaging the paper on the other side. So you're just going to line that up. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Just like that. Kind of center it. Um, and then I just use painter's tape. I don't use all that fancy expensive tape that crafters keep buying. So, anyway. Alright, and then you're going to fold this over and you're going to flip it over so the die is going to cut through the paper this way instead of down like you usually do it. And then you're going to put your cut plate on top. And then it's a little difficult to get through the machine, but it'll work. All right. Okay. Got that. And then you're going to take it off of the cut plate. Sorry, I hit the camera. I didn't mean to do that carefully. All right. And then we're going to put the cut plate back on the bottom because now we're going to cut that other piece of paper. So, I'm going to take the painter's tape off. Okay. So this is the piece that I'm talking about. So the outside of the envelope is going to be this dark green. So on the flap, I want this, I want to cut this, okay? So I want the light green on top of the flap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here. And what I found was I like this um, postage die because I can line this up on that second little tab and I know that I'm going to be in the center of it and then it's going to be straight. Okay, so I'm going to take that, put it back on my machine, die. the cut plate's on the bottom again now. I'm going to run that through and then we have left So we're done with the die cutting machine, um, and we're done with the dies. So now we can go ahead and put the envelope together. Okay, one more thing. So to make this fit on the flap um, perfectly, not perfectly, but you know, close to perfect, I'm going to trim off the edge here and on this side, just past that little... Um, line there, okay? And get rid of those, because we don't need them. And then I'm going to turn this, and I'm going to cut at where these two scallops, I want them on the three and three quarters mark. And then I'm going to trim that, okay? So now this, I'm left with this piece, and that's going to go on the flap. Alright, so now it is time to assemble. Um, first of all, we're going to take some 1 8 inch score tape. Uh, if I can find the. Okay, and we're going to put the acetate. The acetate I used is just this thin acetate that I have. I bought some art acetate. It's kind of thin, I don't really like it, so. I'm using it for stuff like this. Um, 
because I like the stiffer acetate to make like shaker cards and stuff, but this will work for this project, for these envelopes. So I'm going to take this one eighth, what, one eighth inch score tape, and I'm just going to go around the outside of the little window. on the outside the little scallops okay and again and then we're done with the score tape and then I just take my little burnisher and I burnish all my tape if you do this it makes it so much easier to actually take the paper off so then you just grab the paper And then just take your acetate. I've cleaned my desk a hundred times and I still get fuzz on these stupid acetates. So, alright, so you're just going to kind of line that up over the center of the window, just like that. Then I'm going to take my um, ATG gun, which stands for Advanced Tape Glider, and I'm going to put tape on the, uh, this outside flap. I'm just going to go over the smaller flap, so I'm just going to push that over like that. And again, you can see that little hint of the die, but it's not, I don't think any, it's anything to worry about. Alright, and then I'm going to put ATG tape on the bottom of the flap, like that. I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm just going to glue this on to the flap. I used to work in a print shop, so I love the sound of linen paper when you scratch on it. I think it's so cool. Alright, so it's a little, little off, but it's okay. So I'm just going to lay that down. And then, that's the outside. And then I'm going to take, I cut some, I have some heavy duty Velcro. Um, I don't like the Dollar Tree Velcro um, serious confession because I feel like it doesn't um, Velcro well enough. So I have, I bought uh, like a long roll and you just cut it down and so that's what I did here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, just a little bit of hot glue. My hot glue is being stupid. My gun is leaking all over the place. And I'm going to put that right here in the center at the top. Let it heat up, or let it cool down. Okay, and then I'm going to just put, hopefully, a little bit of glue. Like that. I'm going to just fold that over like that, and I'm going to press it down. And then it's going to cool off. And then once it cools off, you have your envelope. Now, here I want to show you this. Um, if you get a little bit of glue, like you put too much glue and you get a little bit of glue on the outside, what I do is I just carefully take my craft knife, cut it away, and it comes right off. So, anyway. So this is pretty secure. This, this Velcro tape is pretty secure, so I like it. All right, now we're just going to decorate the front, and I cut out this die 
uh, with a die I had in my stash. It's just a banner die. You can always make your own little banner die if you want to spend the time cutting out little squares and then, um, you know, I don't know. I might show how to, I might make a video on how to do that, but anyway. So I'm just going to put that there. Kind of sweep across it, get rid of the glue. The glue dries clear, so I'm not really worried about it. All right, that's going to go there. And then I'm going to take some washi tape. Go across the bottom. That. Cut that off. I'm not done decorating this envelope, but I, don't, I have to figure out what else I'm going to do because it kind of has to be flat. So when it has to be flat, there's not a whole lot that you can do, but you, there are still some things you can do. So um, I think I have a bunch of little hearts punched out, and I'll probably put those across there. But anyway, so that's how you make these envelopes again. Um, I like these, and I actually might start making these for my swaps that I do. Um, in my group, in the group that I'm in, so to send, because I just think they're so adorable, and how fun is that, okay, and then each one has um, a color coordinating flap on it, which is just the inside, same color as the inside of the envelope, and then each one has the Velcro, which is really super cool, so anyway. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, I'll probably be making more videos like this because I like to make my own stuff. So anyway, um, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, hit the like button, please. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, hit that subscribe button. And the little bell icon to the right will actually notify you when I do upload a video. So I hope everyone has a blessed evening. And thanks for stopping by, and I will talk to you later.